Ricky Finn, part seven. Carla got a special fried rice from the Chinese on the way home and started eating as she started her search. She liked the real deal on Facebook and then began to look through the photos. This was going to take all night. There were hundreds and hundreds of snaps. They were mostly posed photos rather than natural shots. She hadn't realised how young the crowd were when her and her friends were dancing there on Saturday night. It looked like a sixth form disco. There were pictures of girls looking worse for wear, boys looking drunk and aggressive, lots of pictures of tongues, biceps and thighs. She ate as she looked, but she was so engrossed in the pictures that she hardly tasted the food. They made her feel old and more than a little depressed. She needed a break. She checked her Facebook site and Twitter feed. The same old story there. Women spreading the love, men sharing the hate. What was it with these bastard men? Anyway, back to the pics. It was amazing how many of them were of the same people. Week after week, the same faces. Just different dresses and different drinks and different partners. She'd gone back six weeks now. There were about a hundred photos per week. Her eyes were getting tired and she was losing the will to live. It had been a good idea, but just because it was a good idea didn't mean it was right. She'd have one more glass of wine, give it another 50 photos and then call it a night. There, 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 that was him. She hovered her mouse over his ugly, sleazy face. The prick had tacked himself. Mickey Markson. What idiot goes around raping people and then identifies himself at the scene of the crime? She clicked on his name. He really was a crunchy short of a selection box, this one. All his info, pictures of his house, his car, his email address, everything. All his life public for anyone to see. She googled his name. Nothing. She clicked on images. There were not many Mickey Marksons in the world. A baseball player, an American looking kid and a Welsh ass wipe. She clicked on his photo. Employee of the month in some mobile phone shop in Cumbran. God, she'd hate to meet the other employees if he was the best one. Maybe it was a strict rotor system. She copied and pasted all his details, taking screenshots of pages and saving links. She'd show Lucy tomorrow if she thought she was up to it, and then maybe that would convince her to go to the police. She poured herself another glass of wine to celebrate her achievement. She felt proud of herself. The Facebook page was busy, getting more likes, and people were sharing useful links. And she found who the lowlife was. It was only a step, a small step, but it was in the right direction. She looked at her watch. God, it was 1.30am. How on earth did that happen? She had to go to bed. One last look at Facebook and Twitter and then she'd go. On Facebook there was nothing new, but on Twitter she had a little blue dot on the envelope, signalling she had a message. I think I was attacked by this man, the message said. Carla felt her heart bump back down to earth. How many were out there? This guy was an animal. Talk to me, you're not alone, she replied. She waited and waited, but there was no response. So, with a heavy heart and heavy eyelids, she went off to bed.